Geo See-Through was created to tackle the challenges that come with large scenes or models made up of loads of separate parts. Take this robot scene for instance. It has a ton of separate mesh objects, and it's tough to focus on one piece when it's constantly hidden behind others. Viewing your object is impossible when surrounded by other geometries. And selecting components of your mesh is a dream you'll never achieve. You can isolate your object to see it clearly, but that removes all sense of context, visually detaching it from everything else in your scene. Wireframe mode shows your selection more clearly, but wireframe and X-ray modes apply to all objects in the scene at the same time, so that doesn't help to make your currently selected object stand out from the noise, making it even harder to see the shape of the object you're editing. And if you switch to wireframe without X-ray, it's basically as helpful as solid mode, which is not at all. Once you've installed GeoC through, you'll find all of its options in a dedicated tab in the end panel. Let's run through some of those features now. Non-selected transparency makes any unselected object transparent while your selection stays fully solid. It updates in real time as you switch selections. So now you can see exactly what you're working on even when it's inside or behind other objects. There's an alpha slider to control how transparent objects become. Alternatively, you can make your selection transparent instead of everything else. This is handy if you want to see through the outer shell of a model. Next, we have a wireframe toggle. With wireframe active, the non-selected objects become wireframes, while the selected objects remain solid. And you can use the wireframe opacity slider to make your selection stand out even more. This is particularly helpful as you zoom closer, where fewer overlapping wires makes everything clearer. This feature also works whether you've selected a single object or multiple objects simultaneously. You can also enable wireframe mode on your selected objects so that everything else stays solid if that suits your workflow better. On top of that, you can adjust the colors for both selected and non-selected objects. Of course, the color pickers also update in real time, so you can quickly see the effect as you make changes or switch selections. There is an issue with transparency. Unfortunately, you can't see component selections, like faces, edges, or vertices, behind transparent faces. That's a limitation of Blender's viewport rendering. However, switching to wireframe solves that and lets you see all your selected components. Another option to help with this issue. I've also added a selected in front toggle, which applies to any objects you pick. Again, updating in real time as you make new selections. And finally, there's a reset all option that removes all of these settings from your objects in one click.